All right, if we all find our way to our mats, thank you for joining. Um, it's obviously been quite a heavy time these last days. Um, we want you to know that in this community, all lives matter, specifically in this moment, Black Lives Matter, and that this is a topic that we are supporting and that we are in hope this current situation will create positive change for us all. So uh, obviously this can be if you're in an area like San Francisco where there's a lot of things going on. I know some of you are in Oakland and other places. Um, this practice, I ask you to be kind to yourself and really use this moment to recharge, take care of yourself. And also in the way that we're gonna be setting intentions, um, think about, and this is just an invitation, you're welcome to take it or leave it, but thinking about how we can serve through our intention, through our thoughts, through our prayers. And, bring a little bit of hope and positivity and yeah, change to what's going on. So with that, let's start really settling in. So please find a comfortable seat, find your sit bones on the mat, on the ground, wherever you are, let them really sink deep. Start closing your eyes if you're comfortable with that. And then straighten, straighten out your spine. So really bringing the crown of your head towards the ceiling or the sky, reaching. And just arriving slowly. Let's take a couple really, really deep breaths together. Inhale deeply through your nose. Hold it at the top and open mouth exhale let's do two really deep ones just like that inhale really deep through the nose hold it sip in a little more and open mouth last one the deepest breath you've taken all day maybe even all week inhale 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 And then take that time to notice already the shift that you feel in your mind, in your body, as you let those deep breaths go. And then let's do a nice long body check here. So starting with the bottom, with our feet, with our toes, and working our way up. So starting with your toes. Again, the idea here is just to bring attention to different parts of your body and making your way up without any judgment. Just noticing where things are showing up for you. Um, a lot of the things that we go through emotionally end up showing in different ways in our body. And the idea is not to judge, but really just to pay attention and to, yeah, meet ourselves exactly where we are. So again, let's start with those toes and then move through the rest of the feet to the ankles, that lower leg, all the way up to the knees. And then wherever you feel tension, you can bring a little bit of an extra breath there. Going to your thighs, hamstrings, wrapping all around your upper legs. And then your hips. Arriving at your sit bones, your lower back. And then wrapping in front towards your belly. Letting it go. Moving up towards your chest and then wrapping back in your upper, middle and upper back. 
Eventually find your way to your shoulders. Again, just really noticing if there is any tension. And then going down your arms to your elbows, so upper arms and elbows. And then lower arms to the wrists. All the way to your fingertips. And then inhaling, coming all the way back up to your neck, the back of the neck, the front. Moving towards your jaw. Noticing if you're feeling really loose or if you're clenching. And the rest of your face, the spaces around your eyes. All the way to the crown of your head. Taking a couple more moments of breath here. Noticing what it feels like to just check in. When was the last time we did that? Was it last week at this yoga class? And then moving towards our other very important bodies. Asking yourself first how you're feeling mentally. What's coming up? Are you feeling really clear on things? Maybe things are really foggy and all over the place going back and forth. Next, moving into our emotional bodies. Maybe you're feeling a lot of anger, a lot of frustration at everything that's happening. Maybe you're feeling hopeful with all of these people out in the streets asking for change. Maybe you're feeling heavy or light. Again, just notice whatever is coming up for you. And lastly, how's your energy? How are your vibrations? Are you feeling perky and upbeat or maybe really low and slow? And then helping or knowing this, you can help yourself guide yourself through this practice. So if the energy is low, take your time through the guided poses. If your energy is really upbeat and you're wanting to have an extra intensity, then feel free to add that to every pose. So now that you've really checked in with yourself, let's set an intention knowing that the beauty of this practice is that collective energy and intention is really, really powerful. And it starts with ourselves. So first, really doing that check-in, ask yourself, what am I in need of right now? What do I need for my yoga practice? And then maybe if you're feeling like your cup is full, then checking what kind of intention or energy you can bring to someone else, to maybe everything that's going on. Putting your hand directly on your heart, maybe one hand over the other, feeling that heartbeat drumming inside your body. Taking a couple more breaths here to really set that deeply. And then slowly beginning to open your eyes. Welcome to your mat. <laughs> Let's start moving. So we're gonna start in our tabletop position. 
So with your wrists right under your shoulders, your knees right under your hips. And then inhale, drop your belly, look up and exhale, round your back. Yeah, drop your head. And do that on your own pace for five times, inhaling and exhaling. Really taking your time here and inviting you if you're usually somebody that goes through this part really fast, try to go a little slower, feeling into every single little vertebrae into your body. I think we've got about two more here. Last deep inhale as you go into your cow and exhale into your cat. And then you're gonna start circling your hips. Make some really, really big circles here. Noticing if anything's tight in these hips. And then maybe switching sides as Raul's reminding me, demonstrating. <laughs> yeah. And then come back into a tabletop position and let's just get into a child's pose here and take a couple of breaths before we keep going. So your child pose can be, I really hope you're not hearing all this, um, <laughs> these sirens and that it's disrupt, not disrupting your practice. If you are, I apologize. Um, open your knees wide and really let your belly in between your thighs, have your arms out straight in the mat. You can reach, reach with your fingertips if you want a little bit of an extra shoulder, uh, shoulder stretch. But just know that this pose is always here. If at any moment during this practice you're in need of a little bit of an extra rest and breath, this is your place to go. Starting to rock your forehead back and forth giving yourself a little massage maybe on the mat on your forehead. And then slowly tucking your toes under and eventually pushing back into a downward facing dog. Yeah. So as you're here in this down dog, let's check in first, making sure that you have wide enough spread between your hands and your feet. So maybe move into a plank or a push up position, just check in, and then not moving your hands and feet, yeah, back up into that down dog. Here you're wanting that really straight spine, so bend your knees as much as you need to, and walk your dog back and forth, inhaling and exhaling with each movement. We're still just early on the practice, settling in here. And then we're slowly going to walk our as slow as possible, our feet towards our hands to the top, top of the mat. And let's hang here at the top of the mat. So hang in your forward fold, maybe grab opposite elbows. Maybe you want to bring um, your, clasp your hands behind your neck to make your head a little bit heavier and really lower down. You can bend your knees as much as you need to here. Maybe swing side to side, let everything go. And then slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, you're gonna rise all the way up, bringing your head up last. Yeah, and ending up in a mountain pose. Bring your hands by your side and we're gonna move through sun salutation Bs. So you're gonna inhale your arms all the way up. And before moving, you're gonna grab your left wrist with your right hand and then stretch to the right. Give yourself a nice side body stretch. Going as deep as you'd like. Getting into the tiny little muscles here in that side body. And then exhale, come back to center. Switch your wrists up and exhale towards the left. You can even push out your hips towards the right for you to get a little bit deeper of, a, of an angle stretch here, of a side stretch. 
And then inhaling, coming back to center. And exhale, forward fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, planting your hands down and bringing just your right foot back. Yeah, lowering that back knee slowly and inhaling up into your first low lunge. Inhaling your arms up, yeah. Holding here, just arriving in the pose. Notice if you have a 90 degree bend in your front knee or if maybe you're going over that because you're wanting a deeper stretch, that's totally okay. You've got options, just make sure to make the choice that's good for your body. And then on an exhale, you're gonna plant just your right uh, palm on the left, next to your left foot. So you're gonna plant it down and then twist open to the left. Inhaling really deeply here. And then you can bring your left hand to your left knee and maybe push it out to open up that hip a little bit deeper. And if you're wanting for an even deeper stretch, you can bend that back right foot or right knee and then grab that right foot with your left hand. Remembering to twist. So you're looking up at your gaze is up at the ceiling and you're really opening everything up here. We're going for the deep little muscles that don't get a lot of love. Breathe deeply if this is really painful. <laughs> your breath can help your mind get through it. And then exhale, come back to center, planting your hands down and bringing your left foot to meet your right in a plank position. Yeah, traveling through your flow here. Exhaling back into down dog. And then you're gonna inhale your right foot up again. And exhale, bringing it in between your hands and lowering your left knee down. Inhaling up and a low lunge on this side. Noticing what it feels like in this, on this side. And then as you're here, you're gonna lower your hands to the ground and you're gonna exhale, push back so that your foot is completely flexed and your right leg is, is right or if it doesn't fit there, or if it has a bend in your knee, that's completely fine. And then inhale, bringing it up and you're looking for that cow back. Exhale for that cat back and that's basically you're really getting a deep, um, stretching your right leg and then inhaling up last time going back exhale inhale up and then you're gonna bring your left foot to meet your right in a forward fold and inhale everything up bringing your hands your palms to your heart taking a moment you just did one side of our Sun salutation B. Remembering whatever intention you set for this practice today. And then slowly opening your eyes again, bringing your hands by your side into mountain. And let's get the other side. So inhale everything up. Exhale, hinging at the hips. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down. This time the left foot goes back, lowering that left knee down and inhaling into your low lunge on this side. Taking a breath here before we get into the twist. And when you're ready, bringing that left palm down next to that right foot and twisting on the right. Taking a moment here before you get deeper if you want to. And then if you'd like to open it up a little bit more, pushing that right knee open. Noticing if that gives you a deeper twist in the back of the sit bones. And then maybe bending that knee and grabbing that foot. And that gives you a really, really deep quad stretch 
on the left leg. Remember to keep that twist and that gaze is towards the ceiling. Connecting deeply to your breath. One more cycle of breath. Exhale, bring it back down. Palms down, your right foot comes to meet your left in a plank pose. Holding plank and traveling through your flow. And once you're in your down dog, it's that left leg again that goes up and in between your hands, lowering your right knee down and inhaling into your low lunge. We first inhale into that low lunge here. And then when you're ready, exhale, bring both of your hands down. And remembering first that cat back as you're pushing back, you can even lower your head, stretch out the back of that left foot or left leg and inhale, open up. Exhale back. Inhale, opening it up. Exhaling back. Inhale here, last time, exhaling back. And then inhaling here, planting your hands down and bringing your right foot to meet your left this time in a forward fold. Take a breath here. And then inhale everything up, bringing your palms to your heart center, closing your eyes for another moment remembering that deep intention, feeling it in every part of your body, deep in your breath. And then you're gonna open your eyes up, bring your hands by your side in a mountain pose. And we're gonna get into our chair. So it's lower, sitting in our chair, inhaling our arms up. In this chair pose, you can have your feet a uh, hip width distance apart or maybe having your feet to touch directly just making sure where the weight is in your feet you want to not have your toes be lifting off but that the weight is equally balanced and then your arms are out straight engage your core here so tighten not your time to let your belly go but instead really tighten it up And exhale, forward fold. You're gonna inhale, half lift to reset your spine. And exhale, forward fold. We're not traveling through our foot. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. One more, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, come all the way up. Your arms come up and Sit into your chair. Breathing here. Noticing if you automatically remember the cues from before. So just check in on those toes. Are you looking at them? If you can't see them, come out of your bend a little bit. You should be able to see them from your knees or past your knees. And then to add a little bit more, if you're wanting that, you're gonna make sure that you've got your balance and then Slowly start shifting the weight onto your toes and lifting your heels off the ground. Breathing here. Just a couple of breaths in this one. And if you're in a regular chair pose, that's perfect. One more cycle of breath. And exhale all the way down. Inhale, half lift flat back, exhale forward fold, plant your hands down and float it out. Taking your time in your up dog and then moving through your down dog. So we've been here but only once before. So take your time, settle back in. And then you're gonna inhale your right leg up Bend your knee and stack your hip 
and make some big circles, opening that hip up, going one way at first, and then slowly rotating the other way, really settling into our body here. And then bringing that foot back down to meet the left. Then inhale, bring your left leg up. Bend your knee and open your hip up. Yeah, making those big circles on this side. And then switching over to the other side. Making circles on the other side. And eventually bringing that foot back, coming back into your down dog. And, and inhale, you're gonna lift your right leg up, bring it in between your hands and rise into a warrior one. So your warrior one, your, your hips are squared. So uh, for most of you, that means that they're facing the screen. And then you've got a 90 degree bend in your front knee and that back foot is at an angle. So your toes should be aimed at the top left corner of your mat. And you can have as wide of a stance as you'd like. So if this feels really awkward and your hips are not able to be squared, then just open it up a little bit wider. And then you want to inhale your arms up into that warrior one. Just breathing here. And then you're gonna exhale, bring your hands back, clasp your hands behind your back, stretching your arms out on an inhale and opening up your chest. And then on an exhale, we move into our peaceful warrior, where the idea is that you wanna reach your shoulder and your, your right shoulder and your inner uh, right knee. If it doesn't look like that at first, it's totally okay. But that's what you're trying. That's the feeling you're trying to reach. And really letting your head hang in this peaceful warrior. One more cycle of breath here. On your next inhale, come back up into warrior one. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down, travel through your flow. Yeah. Once you're in that down dog, lift the left leg up, bring in between your hands, and rise into that warrior one on the other side. So again, you're really wanting to make sure that your hips are squared. Yeah, facing in front of you. So if you need to widen up that stance a little bit more, that's great. And then you want to make sure that your foot, yeah, is at an angle so that your toes are trying to reach your, the right corner of your mat or they're in that direction. And then you've got your arms up in your warrior one stance. Inhaling and exhaling in this pose. Noticing if it feels different than the other side especially in your hips, is it harder to square off your hips here? Just noticing what's happening in your body as you breathe through these poses. And then exhale, bring your hands behind your back, clasp them, and then inhale, open up your chest and straighten your arms out. For an exhale into our peaceful warrior where you're trying to reach that left shoulder inside the left knee. And if you want a nice shoulder stretch, if you have any shoulder tension, you can reach your arms even higher. Just check in with your hips. A lot of times they tend to um, get out of balance here. So just make sure that you're still squaring your hips, that the direction of your hips are still towards the screen. Last cycle of breath here. And inhale into your warrior one. 
Exhale, cartwheel your hands down and slow it out. Taking a couple of breaths in down dog, if you want a child's pose, I invite you to take one. But otherwise, stay in that down dog just for a couple of breaths. And then you're going to inhale your right leg up. Bring it in between your hands and get up in that wire one once again on this side. So checking in with all your cues, making sure that your hips are squared, noticing how it feels to come back in this warrior one for the second time on this side. And then as you're here, you're slowly gonna start putting the weight onto your right foot. We're gonna get up from that left foot and bring your um, hands back in airplane wings. And then little by little, you're gonna lift off with that left foot back. We usually do this from a high lunge, but you can easily get here from a warrior one since your hips are squared as well. So breathing here. Holding that pose, maybe falling out of it and coming back. And then slowly exhale back into warrior one. Inhale your arms up and exhale to travel through your flow. Great work. And then take an inhale and an exhale and down dog. And inhale your right or your left leg up, bring it in between your hands and rise into that warrior one on this side. Yeah, inhale your arms up, really checking in with all your foundation, bringing that weight slowly into that left leg and then bringing your arms back as airplane wings by your side and slowly lifting off your right leg coming up, maybe falling back and then doing it again. Noticing what it feels like to play with balance in a moment where things feel very out of balance. And then check in with that back foot. You wanna to try to flex it as if there is a wall behind you that you're, that's pushing off of it. Last full cycle of breath and come back into warrior one. <laughs> Inhale your arms up and exhale to travel through your flow. Looking good, everybody. Taking a couple of breaths here in down dog again. And then continuing with the idea of balance, you're slowly gonna walk your feet, your hands towards your feet this time. So you're gonna be at the back of your mat in a forward fold and vertebrae by vertebrae, you wanna slowly rise up into your mountain pose. We're gonna play with some tree poses here. So you're gonna inhale your right foot first, your right knee. Maybe this is your tree pose today. That's great. And if you want, maybe you can place your foot under your knee. If you do on your knee, just make sure you're not pushing too hard on that sensitive place. Or if you'd like to inhale it with the help of your hand or not all the way up, making sure again that your hips are squared, checking in with that. And then inhaling your arms up, maybe saying hi to your neighbor. You've got somebody next to you. And then if you want a little bit of an extra challenge, maybe moving those arms, waving out your branches. Maybe you have cactus arms and then inhale up, create some movement. If you want an extra balance challenge, then try closing your eyes 
and tapping really into your breath. Taking a couple more moments, holding this pose. Really tapping into your intuition here. and remembering your intention. And then inhaling, letting it all go, shaking it out, and start bringing the weight onto the right side this time. Inhale, your bent knee forward, and place your foot wherever you'd like. The left foot doesn't have to go wherever the right foot went. And then inhale your arms, maybe out again out straight at first maybe creating some movement with your arms noticing if that's destabilizing you really trying to keep your hips squared <laughs> and you can go into cactus and inhale up for a couple times Checking if your core is engaged, you want to make sure it is here. If you want to close your eyes and try, maybe fall out and come back in. Brings new perspective. <laughs> Last cycle of breath. And let it all go, shaking it out. And then as you are in the back of your mat, still opening up in a wide stance, we're gonna get into our yogi squat. So slowly squatting down. You have a couple options here. You can have your heels off the ground if you need them to be, that's okay. And then you, your squat can be right here or it can be all the way down, whatever you'd like whatever flexibility you've got in your hips all our bodies are very different and then if you have a block or something to sit on if you need that extra support this is also great making sure that as you're here your elbows if you're all the way down are pushing your knees away and that your shoulders are not crunched but that you're nice and open tapping into the breath here we store a lot of tension into our hips especially as we're sitting a large part of the day just breathing here and then you're going to place your hands down and exhale up for a moment into forward fold and then we're going to play still with a little balance in our crow poses so if you wanna, you know, on your next breath, come back into your yogi squat. If you've never done crow pose, I'm gonna move on this side. I think it's easier to show. The idea is that you want your uh, knee to come in that space between, eventually all the way into uh, your armpit, but the space between your elbow and your shoulder. And so here is a great place to start. You can just kind of play back and forth, having, knowing what it feels like to have some balance on your wrists. And then maybe you lift one leg up or one foot up. Maybe you just stand your tippy toes. Maybe you come all the way up. Notice as you do, if you're worried of falling on your head, you can place a block there or some pillows. You'd be surprised by how intuitive our bodies are and that the likelihood of you falling over is actually pretty low if you really tap into that intuition and breathe here and you can keep trying it and coming back to it for a couple more breaths feeling personally extra out of balance today. <laughs> Every day is different on a yoga mat. Coming back into your yogi squats and exhaling into your forward fold, your standing up forward fold. And you're slowly gonna walk back into your downward facing dog. So walking 
your hands all the way back to the mat and flowing it out. Yeah, you're gonna inhale your right leg up and place your right foot on the outside of your right hand into lizard pose. Your right foot. Yeah, and then you can stay here. You can lower that back knee down if you want. You'll get a deeper stretch that way. You can open that knee up as wide as you'd like. You can also place your foot out wider than your mat if you want to open it up. And then you can stay on your palms or you can lower down to your forearms. Again, just making sure that you're not creating tension somewhere else by releasing it in this pose. So if your shoulders are really tensed up, just come back onto your palms. Getting into that, the deep muscles here. And then if your forearms are down, slowly place your palms back on the ground, tuck your back toes, and bring your right foot back into a plank pose to travel through your foot. Once you're in that down dog, bringing your left leg up, and then bringing that left foot on the outside of the left hand. Yeah. Lowering that back knee down if you need it to. But other ways you can keep it up, whatever you'd like. And then check in if you wanna, if you have a deep enough stretch with those palms on the ground, if you wanna have your forearms all the way down. If you wanna help bring the floor a little closer as Rose doing and get a block or another transition to get deeper into this pose. Notice as you're slowing down the breath, what the mind does. Last cycle of breath here. Slowly start bringing your palms back on the ground if your forearms are, and then tucking your back toes and bringing that left foot to meet the right into plank and flow it out. Once you're in your down dog, you're gonna inhale your right leg all the way up. You're gonna bend your knee and open that hip again, creating some little circles. And then leading with your knee, you're gonna get into a half pigeon. So making sure that your knee is on the, your right knee is on the outside of the right palm and slowly settling in. Before you go down, you wanna inhale everything up. So inhale your, make sure that your back toes are tucked and inhale your knee up, inhale, inhale everything in. And then exhaling down, trying to see if your back knee lowers down a little deeper. And then maybe staying here, or maybe you wanna bring your forearms down. And if pigeon pose is not at all comfortable for you, then I invite you to do the same pose just the other way around, which is a figure four, which I can demonstrate here. And you can do a figure four just um, this way or being all the way down on your back, reaching through your legs. Whatever way you are doing this pose, just tapping in to the hip, Noticing that you can either let gravity do the work or with every breath, get a little deeper. Both are perfect choices. Just know that you've got one and it's yours to make. Mm. 
And take a little bit more time in these poses as they help us to get deep into that tissue. Noticing what comes up as you stay in a pose a little bit longer than some others, what your mind does. And then slowly coming out of the pose, whichever one you are in. Tucking your back toes, getting into that down dog or in that plank pose and flowing it out for the last time of class. So make it a good one. And then once you're in that down dog, inhale your left leg up, bend your knee, stack your hip. Open it up with some big circles again. Just helps into getting into this next shape. And then leading with your knee, bringing your left knee to the outside of the left hand. Inhaling everything up before we slow down or before we lower down. So tucking your back toes and inhaling everything up, inhaling that knee up, tightening everything. And then exhale, lower down, bringing that back knee a little deeper. And then bringing your hands maybe on the mat or if you'd like a deeper stretch, lowering all the way down. Knowing that whatever you did on one side, you don't have to do on the other. And I will be in a figure four if for whatever reason, pigeon pose doesn't work for your body. And slowly to take your time to really settle in. And this deep stretch. Again, noticing if the mind, what it does as you're slowing down. And remembering that just like on the other side, you have a choice to make this pose passive and just let go, let gravity do its thing. Or maybe you want to go a little deeper. And then if you always make the same choice every time, maybe try a different one today, just to see what happens. Inviting you to close your eyes in these poses. Couple more cycles of breath, remembering your intention. And then slowly coming out of the pose, just your chest up. And then you're gonna drop your hip to the left and swing your right leg forward into a forward fold <laughs> or into a for Ooh, seated position. We're going to get into that seated forward fold in a second. So make sure that to get your sit bones nice and tight onto that floor or mat. You can bend your knees here if you need them to. That's great. You're going to inhale your arms up, reaching, 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 and slowly hinging at the hips just like you do in a standing forward fold. Exhale, lower down. And then see where your hands land. Again, if you want a little bit of extra support, you can bend your knees as I am and let your chest and belly resting on your thighs. And if you'd like to bring it out straight, that's perfect. Noticing where your hands fall. Forward folds are extremely grounding poses. They help us ground back to ourselves. The more support you have, the more grounding you'll have in this pose. And then slowly coming out of it, bringing your legs out straight in front of you again. And then you're gonna bend the left leg. This time, bring it 
the left foot on the outside of the left knee. You're gonna bring your left hand back. Inhale your right arm up and bring that elbow on the outside of the left knee. Twisting, yeah, looking good. And then you wanna bring the gaze behind that left shoulder. So trying to look behind you there. And remembering to breathe. One more inhale, exhale, unwind, come back to both legs out straight. And then inhale, that right leg gets bent this time, bringing the foot on the outside of the left knee, placing your right hand back, inhaling your left hand and bending at the elbow so that your elbow can push against your knee to twist to the right. And looking over that right shoulder. Check in with your foot, make sure it's flexed. Breathing deeply here. Last inhale. Exhale, come back with your legs out firm. And then you're gonna make sure that your sit bones are at the middle of your mat. And you're gonna slowly, keep, yeah, keep that bend in your knee. Bring your feet out flat on the ground. Uh huh. And then slowly um, lower your upper body. We're gonna do a couple of bridge poses. So, in bridge pose, you wanna make sure that your feet are as close uh, to your sit bones as possible. Yeah, you wanna try to touch them with your fingertips. Make sure that your feet are hip width distance apart and check in with your knees. They have a tendency to really open up. Pretend like you have a block in between your thighs that you're pushing your knees against. And on an inhale, you're slowly gonna bring your hips up, vertebrae by vertebrae, bringing everything up. And here you can clasp your hands together and bring your shoulders, yeah, rolling your shoulders under. It gives them a nice little stretch here. This is a beautiful heart opener too, opening up our heart chakra. And then slowly lowering back down, bringing your knees to touch and your feet out wide, closing your eyes for a moment, one hand on your hip, uh, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Tapping in. And then opening your eyes up again doing one more bridge pose, or if full wheel is a part of your practice and you wanna do that, go for it. But you know where to go, slowly inhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, pushing your hips up and everything else coming up. And then slowly exhale everything down. Bring your feet to touch in a butterfly position and bring your feet in your hands. And then open them up wide in a happy baby pose. Rocking back and forth. Maybe straightening out one leg and then the other. And then eventually getting into that last pose, our Shavasana. We're really letting everything go. You've done beautiful work. Every pose in yoga is to lead you to this moment, to just rest. getting some deep relaxation, knowing that you have nothing to worry about. 
and that I will call you out when it's time. Slowly bringing the awareness back into your body, into the space, keeping your eyes closed, but maybe moving your fingertips and your toes. Eventually finding yourself still with those eyes closed on the right side of your body in a fetal position yourself that last really deep moment of gratitude. And then eventually finding seated again, the way we started this beautiful practice together. Keeping your eyes closed and then Checking in just as we did at the beginning. First with our physical body. Just noticing what comes up. If you feel a shift, if it brought attention to something else. Just noticing what's coming up in your physical body. And then moving on to how you're doing mentally. Just seeing what comes up. Again, no judgment, no expectation. And then emotionally, what's coming up right now. And lastly, vibrationally. What's your energy saying? What is, what is it telling you? Again, putting our hands on our heart, remembering our intention, remembering that intentions in yoga practice, the reason we practice them on the mat is that we can take them off the mat any moment we want. So knowing that you can take this intention into the rest of your evening, bringing your hands together, 
palm center to touch. Inhaling, bringing them in between that space, your, in between your eyebrows, your third eye. And exhaling, bowing down in gratitude. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you so much.